Adbert Alzale on the way back for the Cubs, but is it too little, too late? We're going to talk about that and more. Welcome to the Cubs Baseball Channel. I'm Mick Gillespie. We're looking for an all-star closer. Not Adbert Alzale, but you. Be part of our channel right now. Our roster is looking to expand right here on the Cubs Baseball Channel, and it's really easy to be part of what we're doing. All right, yeah, let's talk about it. The Cubs with uh, just a heartbreaking loss again to the Braves last night. But the good news is Adbert Alzale is on the way back. Uh, he's been out since, um, you know, midway through the month, actually really before that, dealing with forearm soreness. And a lot of times that forearm soreness, if it's not taken care of, if it's not rested, can turn into a strain, and then that can turn into Tommy John surgery. So um, he threw. Uh, a live bullpen to uh, Jamer Candelario, and and it went well. And uh, look for him to be back against the Brewers on Friday. That's the good news. The bad news is the Cubs got to get there Friday with a chance. And mathematically, they'll have a chance. But this team can't afford any more losses like last night in Atlanta. And we'll talk about that. But first, here's what Alzale brings to the table. And this is what the Cubs are desperately missing. A game like last night. They had the lead in the ninth inning. They couldn't hold on. The day before that, they had the lead in the eighth inning. And, you know, obviously the, the big drop ball. Uh, but it, it, it changes the way that you can use the bullpen when you don't have uh, Alzali there in position to be able to come out and get the save. you got to slide everybody else up. So Merriweather pitches later than he normally would. Uh, lighter junior pitches in a different spot and so on and so forth down the line. And for the Cubs, uh, he's been great, 22 of 25. And those two of those were right at the end uh, before he went on the IL. And what we know now is that Alzali was dealing with the soreness before he even left. He tried to hang around. They they went a week without using him. He came back, and, and it was just too much. And, you know, you're hoping that the rest will help with uh, when he gets back three games left. So here's how the schedule plays out. Atlanta tonight, and then Milwaukee over the weekend, and then that's it. And the last two games, these blown games to the Cubs, have been heartbreaking. They've been horrendous. They've just been the type of games that a lot of teams don't recover from. You had the big six-run lead uh, two nights ago and uh, blew that one, including the ball that wasn't caught by uh, Seiya Suzuki that reminded all of us of Brant Brown. Yesterday, came back, played a good game, and blew it again. And um, it just felt like they didn't have enough pitching. Get in the extra innings, you score, and then, of course, you give up two runs and lose that one. Uh, the good news is, and I think we all have to remember this, that the Cubs can still make the playoffs. And I'm going to show you the playoff picture uh, here in a second. But the other teams, well, really, Miami, Miami's having a tough time pulling away. You know, they split a doubleheader with the Mets. The Reds kind of got back back in the race, then they lost. So, you know, then there's a lot of the, the the Reds ran into Cincinnati at the uh, the Reds ran into um, Cleveland at the wrong time because uh, Terry Francona um, is you know obviously retiring and and they're honoring him and they love him and that team's playing really hard right now. So um, it's kind of perfect timing for the Cubs that they ran into that, but at the same time. If the Cubs could have just won one of these games, and how many times have we said that recently? If you could have just gotten one, one of the games against the Pirates that you lost, one of these games against Atlanta that you blew, you're, you're in the playoffs if the season ended today. And the problem is we're down to four games now. But uh, there's been a lot of talk on the, on the site, and I want you guys to keep on sending me your messages. When I started doing this page, I made the comment, I thought David Ross – was one of the five best managers in baseball. And some of you guys were just horrified by me. And the honest truth is I was wrong. He's not. He's, he's, he's you know, he is what he is. And it's not one of the five best. And I guess just reading the comments and, and watching the way that he's managed down the stretch has exposed him as being a guy that is still trying to figure out how to do this job. You know, this isn't Dancing with the Stars. This isn't ESPN Sunday Night Baseball. You know, he's not playing catch with the right fielder. And um, this is managing a, a bullpen. It's 
you know, how do, how you use young players, you, you know, the, the game against um, against the Braves, it, maybe if Pete Crow Armstrong's in center field instead of Cody Bellinger, he's able to go over there and catch the ball that say a lost in the lights. I don't know. He's got he's got more range than anybody else. He's faster than anyone else. Uh, and you guys know that. And he's a better outfielder than anyone else that the Cubs have. He's this guy. He's special when it comes to that. But we used him as a pinch hitter and then brought in Patrick Wisdom to pinch hit for him. And then now he's out of the game and you don't have his defense. Is that a fair assessment? I don't know. But that's what managers have to do on a day-to-day basis. You know, we, we saw the way that, that Ross used the bullpen uh, down the stretch. And it was like there were like four guys that he would go to and, 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 you know, what I call high leverage spots, games on the line. And the problem is, is that all those guys now are cashed out. And they look like they're struggling and they're, they're tired. I mean, and, and you, you got a lot more guys in the bullpen, but maybe the guys and the other guys in the bullpen would have blown the game. You know, so, I mean, I don't have all the answers, but I can tell you that what we're seeing right now is if the team doesn't make the playoffs, it's on his shoulders because this is a team that's good enough to get into the postseason. And it's not personal. I think he's a great guy. I think he's fantastic. But it, it's his job to figure out how to navigate through those things. Not to have Alexander Canario come and sit on the bench when, when the rest of your team's tired. And he could have been a spark. And maybe he needs to learn a little bit from Joe Madden uh, about how to incorporate the entire roster. And I know that things with Joe didn't end the way uh, that we wanted it. And it it felt like maybe the team wasn't playing very hard at the end. But you know what? When he first got there, he was so good at being able to get everyone involved on the team. And I feel like that's an issue right now that's coming back to bite the Cubs. The other thing is, and it's not just the Cubs, but – if your starters only pitch five or six innings, then that means the bullpen's got to pick up those extra innings. Well, now you're seeing what happens when the bullpen has to pitch all those extra innings. You know, you you have you burnt the bullpen out when you didn't have to. You know, so whether you get, you know, a nine inning start or an eight inning start, which nine inning starts hardly ever happen and they don't, happen for the Cubs at all, really. And and a lot of other teams too. Nobody has complete games. But if you can get seven like they used to do, and some teams still do, out of your starter, then that means you're only using the bullpen for two. And um I think when we manage pitching at that level, they need to take into consideration what pulling a guy out after six innings is going to do to the bullpen or five innings in a start or four. Because the Cubs are paying the price for that uh, right now. So, you now we'll see what happens. Good news, Marcus Stroman getting the start against Atlanta today, 10-8, 388 ERA. Um, A.J. Smith, Shaver's getting the go for the Braves. The Braves are trying to find – they just clinched home field, which I never thought that they were really playing for anything anyway. They were going to clinch home field advantage whether it was this series or next, the Dodgers weren't going to catch them. So some of you are like, hey, they're still playing. I knew that. But what I was saying is that <laughs> Dodgers aren't going to win every single game and Braves going to lose every single game. They're, they had it to me from the beginning of this series. And they're more, I would think they're more worried about getting their pitching lined up and they're dealing, the Braves are, with their own injury issues right now and they're starting rotation. But uh, Smith Shaver is a really good young pitcher and um, he's – He's going to be tough, but Marcus Stroman, if if he does the things that Marcus Stroman's able to do, then he's the perfect guy to have. But the Cubs can't lose this game. They can't lose this game. They got to win this one. Um, and the reason why is this. Let me put up the standings right now. Is that this team is right now out if the playoffs happen today because they lose the tiebreaker to Miami. So. The, 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 these are the only teams that are still alive for the wild card. San Diego loses one more and they're out. And they're not going to make it anyway, but they're mathematically alive. Cincinnati needs a lot of help. I, don't, I think they're out of it, to be honest with you. It, it's going to come down to the Cubs 
and the Marlins because Arizona's winning their games and they've won uh, eight out of 10 down the stretch where the Cubs have only managed four out of uh, uh, 10 wins. And I think it's because they're tired. And I mean, that's kind of getting back to what we were talking about before. So, you know, when you do all this, this stuff and, and you look at the team and where they're at and what they're doing, the way you manage pitching is so important. And um, not only are they out right now when you look at the standings, but Fangraphs has them at a 29.5% odds to get in to the playoffs now. So they've got a lot of work to do. And the only thing that they can do is win. So you can't have any more. I, they, I think they got to win all four games to get into the playoffs. So it's go time now for them. They're not getting any help from the White Sox against Arizona. You know, unbelievable how bad that's gone. Um, and um, they just got to hope that they can go out there and take care of business. So that's what we're looking at right now uh, with uh, four games left. Hey, guys, thanks for being here on the channel. Again, make sure that you're part of our roster. Like and subscribe. And uh, go Cubs.